Hi everyone, welcome to Tokyo Kitchen Japanese Cooking Class. This is Yoshimi. Today I'm going to show you how to make kabocha tempura. Tempura is easier than you think. And today it's kabocha, but you can use any other vegetable you like. Let's get started. These are what you need. One quarter kabocha pumpkin. One cup flour, all-purpose flour. One teaspoon potato starch or cornstarch. No egg needed. Let's remove seeds using spoon. And cut the bottom and top off. Cut it this way. Then let's make slices like this. You can keep the skin on because you want to enjoy the color. Now I'm making tempura butter. I have flour in the bowl. Let's add starch and some water. And flour and water is one to one. When you mix, make sure not to over mix. Over mixing will bring out the gluten from the flour and it will make your tempura too crunchy. This is good enough. It's very lumpy but this is good enough. Let's add kabocha pumpkin into the butter and make sure kabocha is completely coated with the butter like this. I'm heating up some vegetable oil in the frying pan and let's check if the temperature is right. Drop some butter into the oil. If it hits the bottom and comes up immediately, just like it did, this is a perfect temperature to make tempura. Let's put kabocha pumpkin coated with butter into the oil gently. And after you put them in the oil, try not to touch them too much. It's been fried for one minute and when you touch them, you can feel tempura butter is crispy already. And then you can separate them. It's been fried for about three minutes, so let's flip them over. The bottom side has been cooked for two to three minutes, so let's take them out and drain. Serve it on a plate like this and kabocha tempura is good to go. You can simply eat it with salt or you can eat it with tempura dipping sauce. That's all for today. Thank you so much for watching. More videos coming up so don't forget to subscribe and turn the notification bell on so that you don't miss anything. Bye!